What's going on, everybody? Welcome to Trading Crypto. Today, we're going to go over Injective INJ, which is down 0.8% at $7.98. You have a $638 million market cap with 100 million max supply coins with 80 million coins in circulation. The all-time high on this thing was the top of the last bull run at $24.89. We're actually holding up pretty well compared to a lot of other coins, a majority of other coins. We're only down 67.9% from that all-time high. A lot of coins are still down in the upper 80s, low 90%. So this holding up this well from the the bear market into the bull run is a good sign in my personal opinion that this coin could perform exceptionally well in the bull run just by how well it held up during the bear market see the all-time low was two years ago at 65 cents this coin is currently available i believe on quite a few exchanges yeah all these different exchanges so it's available on, on pretty much all of them i guess you'd say so with that let's get into the price prediction and technical analysis on inj <laughs> All right, all right, all right, INJ. Just looking at this chart right now, this does not look bad at all. First thing I see here on the long-term time frame of the day, you have your shoulder here, you have your head here, you're gonna have your shoulder here most likely. A reverse head and shoulders pattern is extre extremely bullish. On top of that, we are pretty much breaking our highs from 2022 or at those levels. The only unfortunate thing I'm seeing here is this possible double top forming for INJ. So. If I draw a horizontal line at this current area where we're finding some rejection, you can see there's a lot of price action around that $10 range. I guess you could say that $10 INJ. When we were above $10 back here, you can see how big $10 was a support. It was a support back here in March 2021, a support here in November, September, November, October, and December of 2021 before we fell below it. So if we overtake $10, I think INJ, it will be on its way to making a new all-time high. So the all-time high, what was it again? I think it was, it said 22 bucks. So the all-time high in this thing was 20, yeah, 2489. So 2489 was back here. Well, this actually says the all-time high was 26, but regardless, if we draw a fit from the top to the bottom right there, what we're currently contending with is the 786. So I'm going to draw, let's see if I can remember how to do this. I was going to draw a box, but apparently I don't know how to draw boxes yet. I really need to learn how to navigate trading view before the bull run actually hits. So what we need to focus on here is between the 10 and the 382, between the 10 resistance area and the 1165. So I'm going to draw a little square right there. I think I can actually draw a square. Where is it? Where is the square? This is embarrassing. Absolutely embarrassing. Well, screw it. So we have to keep an eye on the 786 and the 10 area. If anything, we're not bullish until we get over the 786. I think we could actually come up here, bounce around a little bit, and then capitulate back down. Regardless, longer term, INJ is looking really, really good. On the day chart, however, we are still bearish here on the MACD, really large engulfing candles. WTX got three sell signals, and we aren't below zero yet. RSI is tailing down as well. Now, if we go to the four-hour time frame here... What we're looking at here is some more bearish movement, possibly, just according to the charts. We're heading towards a bearish crossover here on the MACD. The WTX, yes, it's low, but we're starting to dip down pretty sharply on that as well. RSI was oversold, but we're seeing a very, very sharp dip down on the RSI. So if we draw a short-term FIB on this thing, if we draw from the top to the bottom right here on the short term, what we really need to focus on is staying above the 618. So technically, this is bullish until or bullish as long as it stays above 785. So as long as we don't fall below 785, we're good. I do think we're probably be testing the 618 out quite a bit. As you can see, we tested it quite a bit here. That is your life support. If you break below 785, then we're gonna have to look out below. 785 is support. If you see a decent size bounce off that, we could be working our way for some higher highs. So for the short term, I think we are most likely heading back down to 785 in the short term. And on the longer term, I think we're gonna be blowing um, blowing past our all-time highs here, probably early in the bull run. I think this thing's looking really, really good for the bull run, guys. So with that, none of this is financial advice. And if there's any coins you'd like me to chart or if you'd just like to chat with me, you can post them on my Discord or on my Twitter page. The links are below in the description.